Welcome to my blind playthrough as the Celts in Rome Total War by Brain Invasion. <clears throat> Here we are, guys. I don't think anybody's made a uh, long victory playthrough of this uh, Total War, so that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. Oh, wait, hold on. I think I screwed up. Yeah, I have to start this over. Oh, no, I don't. Dude, oh, that's sick. You can change the resolution in here. Barbarian invasion. Sweet. Okay, wait, what's the resolution at now? We'll see if I have to stop this. Probably not. Let's see. I'm trying to get that resolution that is very good. There we go. I don't think you guys can even notice, but... I don't think you guys can even tell, but for me, this is way better. This is like how my old monitor was. I have a 25, six something by whatever the hell. So, well, play it like uh, the game's meant to be played. And yeah, when you, I don't know, it's a little choppy when you're in the uh, campaign map, but I think it's way better for, it's just easier to play the game. And you guys don't really notice, so it's good. Um... Okay, so we've got all paganism, okay, uh, vandals, okay. We don't have to worry about hordes. Uh, that's going to be the great thing about this campaign is that we don't have to worry about hordes. And, man, but those Romano-British are going to be a pain, man. I'm telling you, those guys are annoying. Um... I played a campaign up until they spawned and I gave up. So that's why I call this a blind playthrough. I guess it isn't totally a blind playthrough, but I've never gotten off the British Isles. So I don't even consider any of my old playthroughs really big or anything. So we're going to look at the troops we've got. So we can recruit most of our basic units in Ireland. It's called Tara. And then we can recruit these Hands of Kulan. These are like the only thing that I remember about this faction is these guys. Um, let's see. Okay, yeah, you know we should we could recruit them right now. They'd probably be good, um, but unfortunately, you know, I think these Pictish spearmen are gonna have to do as just kind of a. Uh, Oh, wait, no, the Gallo Glasses. Obviously, we're going to recruit Gallo Glasses, but we will have to use the Pictish Spearmen, so um, we're not going to try to overdo the Hands of Kulan or anything, but we will try to utilize them. Anyways, I'm going to uh, gonna be getting into this. I want to try to get up to the good stuff pretty quick for you guys. Um, let's see, I'm going to turn up the tax rate here to very high, and I think, I don't know, I have to figure out which guy I'm going to move first, so... Okay, let's let's actually let's just figure out what's going on. Let's just figure out what's going on. Where's our spy? Do we have a spy? I don't know if we have a spy, guys. Okay, we've only got an assassin. It looks like we have a spy in Delreda. Yes, yes. Okay. All right. Let's. I don't know. Send him left or right. Let's send him right so we can view the town. Oh, and that's great. But we see that there is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight garrison, eight unit garrison. From, that's owned by the Western Empire. Um, so I think we're going to go ahead and take that, obviously, at first. got to get rid of the Spanish troops. Um, I hope that they don't have good cavalry. I don't remember if they do or not, but if they have even one unit of good cavalry, that's going to be a big problem. The chariots are going to help, but... Yeah. Anyways, so let's go ahead and... Could probably build a land clearance. Yeah, that'd probably be a good idea there. But we are gonna want to get the troop build up. So, oh, that makes wolfhounds. Okay, that's interesting. Um, whoa. Um, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Who can we recruit with that? Oh, Kerns. Got it. All right. Well, they're actually, they do a good amount of damage, you know, and um, 
basic and in, in original Rome missile units can usually only do seven. I think that the javelin units do. These guys are pretty good, and they do a damage bonus to chariots. But I don't think the Romans are gonna pack any chariots, so um, it'll be useful when we get to Egypt. But yeah, I and also I'm not just doing a very long campaign. I'm doing world domination, guys. So. We're going to be the first ones to do it on YouTube, I believe. I'm not sure. I Maybe someone's done it, but I'm the first to do it on Very Hard, I'm pretty sure. So, regardless, uh, let's go ahead and, I think, figure out what we're going to do with at Terra. I think we're going to... Ooh, simply... Let's see here. We don't need to get a farm bill. I think we can just get the money, the money coming in. I think that's probably. See, and then this upgrades our missile weapons. Yeah, it's good that we've got that. I want to just take one quick look at the temples real quick to see which temples they've got. So you got the one that recruits those guys. Got the one that makes druids, which is great because it also increases missile weapons. Wonderful. And uh, I don't know. I might. If you know, if it seems like the game's getting a little easy, I might switch us over to Christianity, make things a little bit harder. What's this? Okay, that's just religious conversion. Okay, I don't. Oh, that's just troop experience. Okay, all right, all right, all right. All right. So yeah, obviously we're going to to upgrade this because our missile is going to be the most important thing. Um, I know morale is a bigger deal in Rome 1, or sorry, Rome Total War Barbarian Invasion, but, try saying that three times, but, uh, yeah, it's good, it's good. So we're gonna, okay, can we recruit chariots here? No. Okay, so after we get that built, we're going to rush the chariot. Stables, I think. No, we no no no. We want the practice range, then we want the stables. Boom, we got it. We got it now. Because uh, I'll tell you why. Because we need to be able to retrain our slingers and all of that <clears throat> pretty quickly after our first battle. Um, I apologize for all the talking. I always do this in the first episode or two. So. Okay, noble clansmen are going to be pretty big. I know that that's our first cavalry unit, so let's go ahead and build the stables. And then that weaponsmith afterward will be pretty good. Because we don't get any uh, really new units or anything afterward, I don't think. So okay, we've got everything figured out here. Let's go ahead and... Okay, this guy's really old. He's going to be passing away soon. I don't think we have any other generals... We're going to move our diplomat onto the boats, and we're going to be getting him over to the other factions ASAP. And then we'll probably blockade with our ships after that. But we won't need a navy right now. Won't really do much. Because I don't think they'll be able to recruit up here anyways. The Roman AI will be prioritizing wherever they think they're going to lose the most, which will probably be... Somewhere over here where I'm clicking on this mini-map. Um, or the Berbers might pack them in, like in my Berber campaign. <laughs> oh, fudge. Alright, man. Let's see. We don't have any family members. We've got, oh, we've got two boys here that are going to be of age in approximately ten turns. Both of them will be at 10 turns. And we can marry a daughter off in about the same amount of time. So, two daughters off in about the same amount of time. Okay, wonderful. Yeah, so we got to just hold it together. I don't know, what's the barbarian, uh, what's the Celtic general unit? I don't know, we'll figure it out in a minute. I think it's chariots, but I don't remember. Um, okay, and then I'm obviously I'm going to have to ferry these guys over from from Terra. So let's just get the recruitment going though. We'll recruit Gavla Glasses. We're going to recruit the Hounds of Kulan. And then we're going to recruit a unit of Pictish Spearmen because I don't think we'll have enough time to recruit that second unit. 
of Berserkers, but it's okay. Let's go ahead and get this guy weapon upgrade, and we can end turn here, guys. That's the beauty about the Berbers, is that, or Berbers, about the uh, Celts, is that it's pretty minimized to this region of the map. Having a lot of fun with this already. Okay, we can end turn, and let's see. I think it's moving my units fast. I don't like that. Oh, this guy. Placus Flavius. Okay, well, he's not a good general, so that's really good. And we do not want to lose this spy. We are not going to infiltrate the settlement with him. Because if we do... Ah, oh, we'll take the gamble. And he died. There you go. <clears throat> so that's already our first challenge. See, so that's why I wasn't going to do it. Now that that's happened, we can move on. Uh, it, don't, it, don't, it don't really matter. I think the settlement down here is pretty small. Um, we do have some basic information on it. I don't know if they had an army spawn out here in the field or not. I hope not, but we'll see. We'll see. Dude, that's moving so fast. Why? There we go. I got it. Jeez. Okay, let's move that assassin onto that boat, and then start ferrying troops over. Okay, and we'll get those war rounds on there as well. Okay, okay, and then we're at war with them, right? Yeah. So, okay, let's see here. Okay, there's no troops there. That's good. Move the diplomat, or sorry, diplomat assassin over and that is going to be a terrible assassination chance so we're just going to sabotage with him and let's go ahead how many troops do we have here now i don't know it might be a good idea to smack the army down here but it's uh, probably in our best interest to oh i don't know let's see three we're gonna. I just. I know that we're gonna need uh, chariots. That's. We're gonna need chariots, chariots, chariots. So, but these gala glasses are gonna be really big against that Roman infantry, boys. Very big. Okay, we'll recruit one unit of slingers because I don't think we have any missile. We have like one unit of missile, unit of slingers, unit of gala glasses, and. We're going to get the chariots here, right? Pretty soon. No, we're not. So, yeah, we'll recruit the chariots. Okay, we're going to get this attack going on them pretty quickly, guys. we got to try to get in there. Okay, I'm going to end the first episode here because I think I'm low on space. Um, tune into the next one. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to make these ones pretty short compared to the other ones just because of upload time. Thank you for watching. Part two coming soon.